your stitches are all out, but just so it's been said to me on the Lime Chick Facebook page many times that I've never addressed co-infections and that's absolutely true. Um, I've actually never written about or really um, addressed any of the co-infections partly because <laughs> I'm good at denying I have them. Um, I tend to blame all my symptoms on Lyme but I've actually tested positive for Bartonella and Mycoplasma, um, those are the two I've tested positive for anyway. I actually um, show symptoms of a lot of the others um, as well, so who knows. But um, in this video, I'm going to try, try to address um, all of the tick-borne, or as many as I can, um, of the tick-borne co-infections. Babesia symptoms can include Fatigue, night sweats, fever, chills, weakness, weight loss, nausea, abdominal pain, diarrhea, coughing, shortness of breath, headache, and neck and back stiffness. One more time with feeling. Babesia rashes, like this one I had, are usually spotted versus Bartonella rashes, which are more commonly streaked. Which brings me to Bartonella. Bartonella symptoms can include Fever, chills, headache, severe pain in the tibia, weight loss, sore throat, a papular rash, severe mood swings, agitation, anxiety, and depression. This rash I experienced a few years ago has the streaked characteristic of a classic Bartonella rash. Symptoms of ehrlichiosis can include Anemia, fever, chills, headache, muscle pain, rigors, gastrointestinal symptoms, fatigue, and extreme weight loss. Powassan virus symptoms can include Fever, pain or pressure behind the eyes, light sensitivity, muscle weakness, seizures, paralysis, and brain inflammation. Mycoplasma symptoms can include Fatigue, headaches, muscle pain and soreness, nausea, gastrointestinal problems, joint pain, lymph node pain, cognitive problems, depression, and difficulty breathing. If you suspect you may have any of these co-infections, talk to your line letter physician and seek treatment as soon as possible.